Bitcoin is right now getting ready for that next massive move. Actually, a move which not many people are expecting right now. But in this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly what I think is going to be happening next and all of the reasons why I do think so. So actually, without any further ado, make sure to push up that like button. Can we once again smash it back above the 300 likes? That will be a new record. And as always, let's have a look into what's a short term because many people are getting trapped right here in my opinion. Of course, during course of this weekend, Bitcoin has been trading towards the upside. And because of this, we have been creating another CME gap towards the downside. And yes, usually 99% of these CME gaps tend to get filled at the beginning of every single week. So in that case, we are going to be expecting a move back towards the downside to be filling up this CME gap. But in my opinion, this weekend is going to be a little bit different because what we can be having a look into towards is of course that CME gap down below us right now being created over here. But as you can be seeing over here, we have already had this CME gap down below us already open over here. And what is going to be the very interesting thing is that exactly in the last cycle, we have done the exact same before breaking above that previous Altmai and before blasting off towards the upside. And because of this, because the price action is looking so similar with also two CME gaps being open towards the downside, I just think that potentially Bitcoin history is about to repeat over here. And because of this, this CME gap down below us could just be a trap. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Of course, 99% of these CME gaps tend to get filled, but because it is looking so similar and also so we are getting some other signals which are going to be indicating the same exact thing, I think you should not be getting trapped and maybe, just maybe history could be repeating over here and we could just be blasting off towards the upside just like we did in the other cycle. And having a look into what's these other signals, well, first of all, previous resistance is right now back into what's turning into what support. Of course, this level is coming from that previous Altmai, which we have once again broken above and tested as support as well right now. But do keep in mind that right here, we did the exact same. And also right here, we have also done the exact same thing. Now, once again, I do think that this time around is going to be a little bit different, but I'm going to be explaining that exactly in this video. So make sure to watch until the end. First of all, yes, we are seeing even more signals that history is right now actually repeating from of this CME gap, of course, that we have already had a look in towards. But second of all, the price action is looking exactly the same as well from of the previous cycle as you can be seeing over here the first move the second move the third move with a, a consolidation over here and then the fourth move our final correction and then a blast off towards the upside after breaking that previous point three high and right here in the last cycle we have done the exact same all right the first move the second move our initial correction then a consolidation over here then uh, our final correction where we also by the way created that last cme gap so these cme gaps are also looking exactly the same and whenever we broke above that previous point three high well that was the moment where we blasted off and went absolutely exponential but the absolutely crazy thing in my opinion is and Actually, nobody is talking about this fact, and it is just coming from my personal experience. I have actually talked about this many times already on my channel, is the emotions. Of course, first of all, we are getting the CME gaps, which is exactly looking the same. The price action is looking the exact same, but also at the same time, the emotions involved in the market right now are also exactly the same. If we have a look into what's Twitter, for example, right here, you can be seeing this tweet and he is saying, I do not trust the low liquidity weekend pumps right now. And well, these were the exact tweets we were also getting in our last cycle whenever we created this CME gap down below us and then actually blasted off towards the upside. And right now we are getting the same exact emotions. I mean, this is not the only tweet I found on Twitter. I mean, I can be seeing my whole timeline full with the same exact emotion that they are not trusting this pump right now to, to the upside, that they are in disbelief and that they think that first of all, we need to be filling our CME gap towards the downside. But, well, I've been saying many times that whenever everyone is in disbelief and nobody thinks we are going to be going exponential, well, that is actually going to be the moment where we will go exponential, where we will create that next move towards the upside. 
all right? The market always does the opposite of what the majority is thinking. And everything is just coming together so nicely. And it is just such a coincidence, in my opinion, that I just think it is going to be very likely that indeed the next move is going to be towards the upside. And we are going to be creating a huge move towards the upside. But yeah, anyways, moving on. History is right now exactly repeating. We have been talking about this fact already for many times on this channel. Now, we are getting even more signals because we are also forming this consolidation in the form of a symmetrical triangle right now. And whenever we are going to be breaking this one out towards the upside, also, I think we are going to be creating that next massive move towards the upside. Now, on top of that, what we can also be seeing is that during our compression, during our consolidation, we can be seeing that the Bitcoin funding rates have actually been kind of decreasing. And that is going to be a very bullish indication in me for, for me, in my opinion. Of course, during this consolidation we are getting right now, we can be seeing that the majority of the Bitcoin traders are actually opening up uh, new Bitcoin short positions and are actually closing their Bitcoin longs because the Bitcoin funding rates are right now decreasing. So that is going to be indicating that once again, the majority is thinking that we are going to be seeing another move towards the downside. But because of that, we are probably going to be seeing this next move towards the upside. And well, right now it's getting very crazy because also at the same time, we are just getting so many signals that are all pointing towards the same direction. We are also forming a lot of liquidity towards the upside. And we do know that Bitcoin usually tends to go towards where the majority of the liquidity is sitting at. Right now, as you can be seeing over here, definitely that majority is uh, starting to be created towards the top side. And usually Bitcoin just goes towards that liquidity. So once again, it is going to be very likely that we are going to be going after that liquidity towards the upside. Now, also, we have been forming this hidden bullish divergence, which has been playing out right now in the last couple of days. But also, this signal is going to be giving us some more momentum that we could be seeing uh, playing out towards the upside. Okay, so yeah, the confluences we are getting right now in the market are just absolutely insane, in my opinion. I think it is going to be very likely that we are going to be seeing that move towards the upside getting initiated. Of course, it can still st take about one more week we can still consolidate inside of this symmetrical triangle for a little bit longer. But in the end of the day, I do think that we are going to be seeing this next move towards the upside. Now, anyways, if you are going to be getting interested in trading yourself, make sure to check out that link down below because you can right now be claiming this 2000 US dollar trade for free over on Bybit. On top of that, you're going to be eligible for this 40,000 US dollar deposit bonus, which is just going to be free capital which you can be deploying into a market for free. You can be opening up a new trade or you can be buying altcoins with this money. So yeah, in my opinion, really going to be a no brainer. Now, what is about to happen next for Bitcoin, in my opinion, will absolutely shock many of you guys because I think that Bitcoin is go, uh, going to go absolutely parabolic anytime soon. And this is going to be a move you do not want to miss. All right, that is going to be the reason why I'm right now still in my Bitcoin long position. I am right now prepared for that next massive Bitcoin move. I think it is going to be happening in the coming few months. If we are going to be having a look into the longer term, well, it is just looking so bullish for Bitcoin. We have been talking about this effect for many times already on this channel. But yeah, anyways, with that being said, it is just all lining up right now. So anyways, make sure to be following me over on Twitter to stay up to date about every single market development. And guys, I'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning.